Hi, thank you for your interest of this work. I'm Nan Xuan Zhao from City University of Hong Kong. And today I'm going to present ICONNET, a tool for automatic compound icon generation and ideation. Icons as a universal language appear everywhere in our daily lives. They are one of the most simple and efficient ways to convey a message. To transmit complex information, an icon is often composed of simpler sub-icons corresponding to basic, easily recognizable concepts. For example, the icon for business contract is composed of a dollar sign for business, lock for security, and clipboard for contract. The icon for flight tickets is composed of an airplane and tickets. However, creating effective compound icons is a challenging task, since a well designed icon should be both understandable and aesthetically pleasing. It involves considerations of how to represent each sub icons, how to lay them out, and how to arrive at a cohesive design. Novices can get overwhelmed by hundreds of options. Even for professionals, they often turn to diverse resources and create many iterations before coming up with the final icon. In this work, our goal is to provide intelligent design support for creating compound icons given input compound concepts, such as flight ticket or baby care, while facilitating rapid exploration and ideation. Before going to details of our work, I'd like to thank for the non-project. All of the icons of our project are downloaded from it. To gain insights from existing icon design process, we conducted semi-structured interviews with professional designers. To mimic the professional design process, we introduced Iconet, a novel system to support compound icon design. The core idea behind the system lies in our 3S icon design framework. We interviewed with three professional designers. The first person is a senior product designer with nine years of experience. The second person is a senior experience designer with 11 years of experience. And the last one is a user experience designer with seven years of experience. Each interview conducted via video call, lasted around 45 minutes. Each participant was paid $75 and completed a same structured interview, which propped the designer's workflow, motivations, tools, and so on concluded with a step-by-step -step walkthrough of a recent icon design projects of theirs. Here are some of the feedbacks from designers. They said, We remix, look and get inspirations from different metaphors and bring them together to create a new metaphor. If a metaphor comes up many times, it may indicate that it works for people. Making something new rarely happens. Existing icons are frequently repurposed. In summary, there are three main lessons from the interviews. Lesson one, compound icons are common. To create a compound icon, designers begin by brainstorming a set of associated basic concepts to compose together. Lesson two, designers turn to existing icon repositories to get a sense of how various concepts have typically been verily represented in the past. Simpler icons corresponding to basic, easily recognizable concepts are remixed together. Lesson three, a few variants are created after several iterations, and the final selections are made based on mainly three factors, semantics, style, and space. Based on the lessons from the expert interviews, we developed the 3S framework, a fundamental guideline for building tools to support the icon design process. Three key design considerations are semantics, style, and space, which can be tackled separately. The semantics of an icon are the set of viral metaphors. Finding correct viral metaphors is challenging because an icon may not represent a direct translation of the viral object itself. For example, a hand icon may represent protection or insurance rather than the physical body part. A design tool should support users in mapping abstract concepts to viral metaphors, such as mapping secure to a lock or shield. Icon style can span a spectrum from abstract to realistic representations and can vary in low-level features such as stroke or field taps. 
an icon is really used alone, but appears together among other icons. As a result, it becomes crucial to maintain style consistency. A design tool should support generating style compatible icons. For space, rather than only considering about design principles such as symmetry and alignment in other graphic designs, the relative positions of various elements with a compound icon can convey a meaning. For instance, a hand positioned below a house can indicate house insurance, where a different arrangement may have an alternative meaning or lack thereof. Thus, a design tool should provide scaffolding for layout decisions based on both spatial semantics and conventional design principles. We design our iconic system based on the 3S framework. The iconic interface has three main components a search interface for ideating for semantically meaningful icon candidates, a canvas for customizing and refining the style and space of the resulting icons, a bookmarking for capturing design variations following professional workflows and the principle of iterative design. Here is a video demo. To enable our computational pipeline, we introduced the following data sets. Our first step was to find a manageable but comprehensive set of concepts building blocks, such as a house, umbrella, and person, that can be recombined to form a large diversity of compound icons. To do this, we turn to multiple sources, including psycholinguistic studies and existing icon repositories for help. Finally, we got 152 concepts. To enable the pipeline to assemble constituent icons together, we reuse design knowledge of existing icons. Towards this purpose, we manually curated a set of compound concepts and collected the corresponding compound icons. We then annotate these icons using an interface, developed specially for this purpose. We finally got a total of 1,000 compound icons and have made both datasets available on our project webpage. Then, let me introduce our computational pipeline. Given the compound concepts as text input, our computational pipeline aims to generate a ranked list of compound icons by considering three main factors, semantics, style, and space. To learn to combine constituent icons in compatible ways, we turn to examples of existing compound icons for help. For example, from these two icons, the model can learn, hand can be used to represent insurance for semantics. Hand in A is more style compatible to the house in A than hand in B for style. Hand is often put below other objects to indicate protection and insurance for space. To produce the leftmost suggestion list in Iconet, we measure 3S using compatibility scores respectively and calculate the overall compatibility scores for a generated compound icon. Please refer to our paper for more technical details. Here are automatic results generated by our computational pipeline for a few compound concepts, which have few or no results in existing icon repositories. Note that our pipeline is able to generate compound icons with more than two parts, such as the digital bicycle rental. To evaluate our tool, we invited back the three professional designers from our previous interviews. The feedback we received was very positive. It's convenient for sketching out quick little ideas on the fly. The value of this tool is how little thought it takes. I like component-wise variations. That is something that totally blew me away. To examine how Iconate could support novices, we conducted a user study. 
We ask participants to design icons for presentation slides with a prompt. Imagine that you are using this slide to pitch a new product that you are developing. Participants were asked to design the icons using two different approaches. One approach was to use online icon repositories and a familiar tool such as PowerPoint to lay out the icons. The other approach was to use our Iconet system. We randomized which approach participants were instructed to use first. Here is an example icon they created using two different ways. Novices may struggle to combine different icons together using traditional pipeline. While well, Iconet provides an easy to use tool without requiring extensive instruction or onboarding and allows participants to quickly generate icons they were satisfied with. However, Iconet still has limitations. Icons generated by our tool may not be sufficient for all user needs since many of our system components can be reused by substituting in a new set of training data with larger annotated data sets, more diverse results are possible. Rather than only using additive operation, designer-generated icons can be the result of more complex manipulations, such as morphing the shape of one icon to fit another icon, which our system does not currently support. Blindly reusing icons or templates from one compound icon in another can lead to unrecognizable concepts. For example, reusing the song from hot weather to represent hot in hot food is invalid. Automatically judging whether an icon is valid and aesthetically pleasing is a hard and subjective task. Our work offers a step in this direction, but there is much future work to be done. The last one, another limitation of our pipeline is the inability to provide adaptive suggestions based on user input. By accepting user-defined input and providing adaptive suggestions, future icon design system may drive wider adoption of such automated tool. In summary, we introduced Iconic System, a system that facilitates ideation and iteration for compound icon design a computational pipeline that powers the system, and the data collection process and annotation tool that enables the construction of data sets for the computational pipeline. Here are QR codes for our project webpage and Iconate tool. Finally, I'd like to thank you so much for my co-authors and to thank you everyone for watching.